Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. Let's see what happens once we get even deeper, shall we? Fragrant Sewer's panicked. Not a good start to his underground career. Queen of Hearts has gone berserk. Losing off an incredible number of shots. Seriously, that was like six shots. Seven shots out of yours little clip. I and mean, everyone else just froze in panic. Snapper is too. Jolly. And here we have our good friend Tooth and Claw. Over here we have... Caterpillar. Over here we have... The gun... Of our good friend... Dark Flagrants 2. I think managed to fall down a hole. Well done Dark Flagrants 2. These people have basically tried to kill themselves as hard as possible. Bean has a sonic cannon, but it's empty. Great job, Bean. This is not an ideal way to start a mission. Fortunately, Bean is relatively close to this area here, which is also quite loaded full of enemies. We have a lobster man there. Fortunately, we do have our major operatives somewhat composed. Hopefully we can get some early kills in which will allow us to boost our morale and get back on our feet. Thank you, Jolly. Lobster Man Technician. I want the Lobster Man Technician, who's got 40 time units to fire, to turn here. One. Well, that's one way to take care of your energy crisis, to quote Avon. Oh, it's we are clearing enemies. Has that helped our morale? It has helped our morale. Uh, Jolly, let's continue our molecular control crusade. I want this lobster man now. Unfortunately, he's not going to do us much good, but he will act as excellent bait. He's also nearly stunned himself. No, don't go over here. Don't come over here. Never mind. Thank you, lobster man technician. We've also spotted another lobster man over there. We've got a lot of lobster men today. Jolly, I want this lobster man as well. Thank you, Jolly. Doing a great job. Can you actually take this guy out? No line of fire. I see. Well, let's get closer. See what we can do about it. It's nice and close. What we really need is a grenade right now. Well, let's have Chukaboya stand here. Then, drop your MC Disruptor again, and don't lose it this time. Now let's try an aim shot. After crouching, for maximum accuracy, to here. That was a beautiful attack. Unfortunately, it's kind of backfired. It's kind of backfired very badly. It didn't actually kill the brain sucker. It killed everything else except the brain sucker. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. What are we going to do about it? It's a good question. Whoa. Enjoy. Oh, my friend was trying to get Saints Throw 2 working for like two hours, and apparently it was his PS3 controller was plugged in via USB, and that's what caused it not to work. Anyway, the things you get, eh? Huh? Brain sucker didn't die, stupid thing. Why didn't you die, brain sucker? Oh, tentaclat if you want to be fancy. Tooth and claw. You are in a relatively safe position, I suppose. Caterpillar can't really help us here either. Really, the only person who could is Bean, but Bean's kind of there. Well, at least the thing you can do is just come up to us, Bean. Get over here, girl. So, what are we going to do? We're going to hope for the best, obviously, of that brain sucker sitting there. Maybe it hasn't noticed us. That would be good. It's still just looking at that wall, which is a very pretty wall. Look, keep looking at the wall, brain sucker. Thank you. 
Caterpillar is looking somewhat secure at this stage. Have not yet seen our destination, although we do have pretty good coverage of this floor. Oh, oops. Um, which means we should be able to start pinpointing our location soon, or at least areas to fan out and search. I accidentally moved Caterpillar over here, but that isn't necessarily a problem. We'll give the Brain Sucker a single molecular control attempt. It was doubtful, let's be honest. Why don't we just take the absolute longest route around that possible? It's really unnecessary. Okay, can't see anything that's a telltale sign of the control center just yet. This mission has not yet gone that well. I will be quite transparent there. Um, but, there is the possibility of recovery if we can make a few key kills. We've made like three stuns, which is fantastic. We just don't need to finish them off or, you know, compose ourselves. Next turn, White Rabbit could launch this torpedo, but it's too late next turn. Let's just end turn, see what happens. That was a six minute turn, wow. Lots of doors. There's another brain sucker, not the one we saw in the first place. Comes in, goes further away. This brain sucker comes in. Isn't as, not as polite. Wow, that took four hits. Wow, four hits. And this, then this brain sucker comes in. Oh, no, that, that tide's gone. Okay. Well, that, that's Chukavoya gone, sorry, and White Rabbit gone. Um, you did die in the field of battle, let's be honest. Bean. Bean still lives. Bean could, like, execute some revenge kills here, theoretically. If we could throw a grenade to like there because we do need a gun for Bean I mean let's be honest we need to find her a weapon somehow but we have a limited number of time this is a useless weapon here. might as well equip a grenade and prime it and then you've got all 13 time units left haven't you so what you're going to do is just crouch and hide and now if you panic you're going to be really really stupid don't panic okay Queen of Hearts, a ball of one shot left in a sonic cannon. Doing great. Caterpillar. Caterpillar and Tooth and Claw need to form a posse. And they need to basically, together, find this control center and blow it up immediately. We are not doing well so far, this mission. That, that, that's it there. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well done. We needed to find that very quickly. Well, we have the Sonic Pulsar, and we have the sufficient equipment to destroy it. Caterpillar might be the one to pull the trigger. We just need to be cautious, of course. There's all sorts of particular threats that could attempt to kill us. Dark Flagrants 2 has composed himself, and has found himself in a hole. Brilliant! Is there a way to get out of this hole? Without dying. Nope, but you can sit in there and look pretty. Ah, Dark Flagrant always looks pretty. And somehow we'll figure out a way to get you up. There, that looks like a good place to check out next turn. Cool. Okay. Tiff and Claw actually just wanted to come around here. Stand behind your good friend, Caterpillar. We do need you to form a very excellent posse. Not a great process so far. Queen of Hearts just stand on guard. Jolly, might as well stand on guard as well, and Snapperus too. Snapperus too, doing a good job. Apparently it was only meant to be a pack mule, but what a pack mule you have become, for you've been one of the few remaining operatives in this mission. Let's end turn. That is an alien with a disruptor pulse launcher. That is another alien with a disruptor pulse launcher. Potentially, these could ruin our day. Let's be honest. Iron armor? Not good. Now, Bean has gone berserk. Fortunately, this has not mean that she's thrown the grenade at her feet, which could have actually quite easily happened. So, Caterpillar. We did see some people lurking before 
with disruptor pulse launches. Let's try and keep out their way, shall we? But this is a good place to put a kith cliffhanger. So when we come back, more XCOM. Can Tooth and Claw and Caterpillar finally defeat this alien colony, which has proved to be quite troublesome? We'll find out on the next episode of Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep.